Hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, kindly help us by hitting on that red icon to subscribe. Also, touch the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So, now today's class, we shall be looking at how to make a short flip dress with um, ruffles or fringes at the chest line. Okay, here I have my three yards of Ankara fabric and I have a yard of uh, uh, bell lace. So this will serve as a ruffle or that the chest area. Okay, so the first thing to do is to cut out the down part. So here I'll just open up my fabric and fold our fabric in a bias form. Okay, like so. Considering the two edges of the of the wrapper, just hold one side at the tip this way. Okay, any any side that you want, just feel free. Hold at any of the end this way. If you are, if you want to use this part, as you hold it this way, just fold it into two like so and hold the other one and take it like so okay i've made so many videos on how to cut um a flat dress depending on how wide you want it to be i've made a video of um on how i thought how to reduce the size so as not to be full flay okay and also if you want it to be full i've also i thought also how to do that it's just so simple just kindly um, push this to the edge, okay? If you want it to be a full flay, okay? But if you don't want it to be so, you just reduce it, okay? So for this, I'm making I'm making this for a, a pregnant woman, so I want it to be full in order to um, cover the tummy properly, okay? So I haven't done this now. The next thing to do is to take the waist measurement and the round waist, the circumference of the waist we are working with is 36 inches. Actually, I'm making use of the under bust, okay? Remember I say that is a pregnant woman, so for us to get the waist uh, to be very tight and you know, of course, is uh, almost impossible. So we are going to be using uh, the under bust for the uh, measurement. So the under bust I have is 36 inches. In cutting this, you don't have to divide it by 6.28 because it's not the, uh, because you're not cutting for a full uh, flake. So instead of that, what you'll be doing is to divide by 4 um, inches because you know we are, if this is supposed to be folded into 4, this is 2, then the ones for the back we cover up to make it uh, 4. Okay? Alright, so you divide the waist by 4. So whatever thing you have, you take the measurement. So when I divide my 36 by 4, I'll be having 9 inches. So I'll go ahead to make uh, my 9 inches. So you place your tip until you get your 9 inches. Okay. 9 inches. So I'll be adding an extra one inch of allowance to it to make it 10 inches. So I'll continue to place my tape until I get to the 10 inches. So when I get the 10 inches, I'll just uh, mark it. Okay, I'll just mark my 10 inches. Having done this now, we we'll go ahead to consider the length that we are working with. So the short length I'm working with is 42 inches. Into um, we will now take out our half length, and the half length we are working with is uh, 16 inches. So 16 minus uh, 
42 we have uh, 26 inches so I'll go ahead to mark my 26 inches so I'll go ahead now to place my tape and me measure our 26 inches I'm going to measure this round so as you are moving your tape you are marking your 26 inches okay so I'll just take this round and after that I will just connect it to the straight line So I'll go ahead now to cut this out. So this we actually serve as the back piece. Because looking at the picture, you will notice that we have our zip at the front area. Okay, so this part now will be the back. So we go ahead now to cut out for the front piece. Okay, cutting out our front piece, just spread your fabric, then place this. Okay, place the the one that we have already cut out to it to get out the at the same measurements but on this side we'll be leaving like one and a half inches for our zipper okay so we'll just leave one and a half inches for our zip allowance Okay, so I'll go ahead now and trim this out. After cutting it out, I'll spray my fabric again to cut out the second part. But this time, you have to be careful on choosing the, the right and the wrong face so as not to cut out the same part. So here I'm going to check this. This is my right face. Okay, so I'll break this, uh, this part. So now the right face will be facing the right face. Uh, face okay so i'll place this this way okay so i'll go ahead now and cut this out Okay, here is the complete piece of the down part of our dress. So I'll just go ahead and cut a lining for it. Okay. Then we go over now in cutting out the upper part of the dress. I'll be using a princess butter for it. So if you don't know how to cut it, keep on watching. I'll see the easiest way to cut out the princess buster very easy and a uh, uh, fast okay so here I'll fold my fabric into two
So here I'll fold my fabric, then I'll take my measurement. Make sure that what you have here is up to your shoulder measurement. So the shoulder I'm working with is 16 inches. Okay, so make sure that you have when you divide it into, into two, you have eight. Of course, you know that we divide our shoulder measurement by two, so which is eight inches. So make sure that what you have here when folded is eight inches. So the length we are working with is 16 inches, which is our half length. I'll add an extra one inch to it to make it 17 inches. Our underboss is 15 inches, so I'll add extra half inch to make it 15 and a half. Then our shoulder to nipple point is 11 inches, so I'll make it 11 and a half. I'll add extra half inch. Of course, I know you know why we're adding this half an inch because of the uh, joining of the shoulder. You know, we'll be taking half an inch at the shoulder, so when we take out the half inches, the um, the measurements we take we correspond okay so for the upper post we just count from here just mark one two three which is eight and a half inches so we'll be using eight and a half our chest measurement I'll just make a straight line for the next thing to do now is to mark our shoulder measurement which is 8 inches so from here I will mark our 8 inches okay then I'll also mark 3 inches to connect our shoulder slope then here I'll be using 5 inches okay then I'll take 1 inch for our shoulder slope So I'll connect those three inches to this one inch. The next thing to do is to impute our bust pant measurement, which is the difference between one nipple to the other, which is eight inches into two to give us four inches. So I'll be using 4.5 inches for it. I added extra half an inch, but the, what I'll be using in joining it. Okay, so feel free to add whatever thing you use for your uh, stitching. So I'll be marking four and a half inches all the way through. After marking this, I'll connect it with a straight line. Okay. Then the next thing to do is to connect this. Don't forget to join this. Um, shoulder line measurement that we take here to the five inches so I'll just go ahead now and connect this okay I can as well go ahead and mark my neckline measurement so looking at the picture, you will see that we have our closed neck. So here I'll be using three inches, okay, for it. And coming down, I'll be making use of four inches. So I'll connect those three now to those four inches. I won't be cutting out the neckline yet because I'll be making use of those to cut out the the back piece. Sorry, the front piece. Remember that we say that the front has a zipper allowance. So here now I will use this for the I will use this now will serve as our back. So I'm very sorry I'm 
we have uh, some correction to make here. I'll be wiping out this. Of course, the back won't be this uh, lengthy. So I'll just use only two inches here instead of four inches because I'll be using this piece for the back. Okay, the front piece will be having a, a zipper allowance. Okay. I'll go ahead now to notch out this. Please and please do not get confused here. I will use this now to cut out. I will be using this to cut out the front side. Okay, after which we will cut out the center front. Okay, so I will use this now to cut out the side front. Okay. okay for the side, we're going to be folding this into two. Okay, fold your fabric into two, then place this. But before you do this, make sure that you have up to what you want for the bulginess here. Okay, so I'll be using 2.5 for the bulginess because the bust is uh, um, 42, 41 inches. Okay, so I'll be using 2.5 for it. So I'm going to be placing this here. Okay, so after this now, I will sketch out this, at this fabric, just like so. And after this, I will also sketch out the notched parts. Okay, so these are the three points that we notched. The under bust, the bust point, and the chest line. So now we are going to take back our um, armhole measurements, and the armhole I'm working with is 18 inches, 18 into two to give us uh, nine inches. So from here, remember that we have taken away our shoulder slope. So from this part, from this end of the side part of the center part, I'll place my tape, then take our nine inches. So at this point now, we'll be taking our bust measurement here. So the bust I'm working with is 41 inches. Into 4 to give us 10.25. So for the bust and the waist is divided by four. Hip also divided by four, but you know we are not making use of the hip at this part. Okay, so just in case. So I'll be marking 10.25 and I'll be adding extra allowance of two inches at the bust line. Okay. And also at the waist, the waist you're working with is 36 inches into four to give us nine inches. So I'll mark my nine inches here, and at the waistline I'll be adding two and a half inches. I added extra inch here because you know at the at the bust line we'll be having extra bulge at the side, so it's also added as as, as an as advantage to our measurement. So that's why I just added two inches here and two and a half at the waistline. Okay, so having done this now. I will go ahead to connect my, to mark my um, armhole. So I'll quietly remove those now. Coming at the at the, the bust point line, I'll come out by 2.5 inches. I'll come out by 2.5 inches. Then I'll connect from those points to meet the 2.5. 
and from here to my under bust. Just make sure that you don't have a sharp edge, okay, at this point. All right, so. So this is it for the side piece. So we go ahead now to cut out our back side piece and our front center piece. Okay, for us thought to go ahead uh, with the measurement uh, at the second time, just fold your fabric into two and place the ones that you have already cut out to the fabric and uh, trace it out. But at the side parts, when you look very carefully here, you will notice that I touched those uh, uh, 2.5 that we came out with, which is the bulgeness. Of course, you know the back won't be having that bulgeness. So I just dot that out now, then place those to be equal with this part, okay? Just shift it this way. Okay. Then here also I left one and a half inches. Recall that the the down parts we left one and a half inches for our zip allowance. So here also I have one and a half inches for our zip allowance. Okay, so having done this now, I will go ahead now to sketch this out. So I'll go ahead and quietly remove the side piece now to cut out this. Also open up the zip area so I can go ahead now to remark my neck line remember you said you're going to be using three inches for the neck width and for the neck depth for the front we are using four inches and for the back we are using two inches okay so this is for the back Go ahead and extend my marking. Sorry. So if I separate this, I'll also go ahead to notch out my under bust because this will help me in joining the the both side.
okay so here i have my front and back piece okay so i'll just go ahead now and cut out my wording for the front piece okay i'll cut out my wording covering only those parts covering only those breast parts and also here okay i won't allow the wording to encroach on this part on this zipper allowance so as not to have an effect on the on the um, on the zip okay so i'll just take like half an inch away from the wording okay from the zipper area sorry okay so also i will cut the lining for bridge okay so coming to the cape or the fringes at the upper part like i said i'll be using this fabric for it so i'll go ahead and fold this fabric into four i'll fold this fabric into four so i'll be considering my measurements what i want to be to make use of okay so what i will do now is to um how to get the perfect uh, cape to use just take the the your client's round shoulder measurement so after that i have 44 inches but looking at the picture you notice as if there is uh, some pleats a little pleat at the front piece that makes the waves to 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 be as if it's a little bit uh, fuller okay so because of that when I have my round uh, measurement of 44 inches, when divided by 6.28, I'll be having a 7.0. So because of that, I'll be using 7.5, so as for me to have an excessive uh, part. And also the hand, the, the one that falls at the hand, uh, that the sleeve part, is not that tight to the sleeve, okay? So it's a little bit of, uh, so a little bit uh, loose. Okay, so that is why I'm adding the extra 0 0.5 inches. Okay, so I'll be making those 7 uh, 7.5. Okay, here. All right. So the next thing to do is to consider the length that you want. Okay, for this, I'll be making use of uh, 6 inches. I'm making use of 6 inches, which is like so. And I think is a... Uh, is is okay it's perfect okay all right so i'll just go ahead now to plus the six plus my seven over seven point five we're giving us twelve point five okay so you see that when folded i have to consider this measurement so as not to waste my fabric so i'll fold this according to what i need so after folding into four we go ahead now to to cut out so I'll take my 7.5 round After marking this, I will connect this round. Then next, I will take the the length, which is six inches. So I'll mark the six inches also. Okay, this my six inches also include my allowance because I'll be weaving both the upper part and the down part. Okay, so by the time I take away the weaving one. I'll be left with like five inches.
So I'll also go ahead to open up one part. So this is what we have. Okay, so this is what we'll be using. So I'll go to my machine now. Sorry, before that, I'll go ahead to cut out my lining, my wording, and I'll use my iron to comb that on my fabric. And I'll go to the machine, then turn them out with my lining, okay? Then close them up. All right. Then I'll come back to show you the steps that I'm taking. Okay. Okay, I've lined them all carefully with my lining. As you can see, this is the down part. Okay. And I've also lined the, the front part also. The upper part. So this is the back. And this is the two piece for the front. Okay, this is the two piece for the front. And when you look carefully, you will see that I've turned the front part, but I've not turned the back. This is because I want to close my shoulder part so that it won't be uh, rough, okay? I want to sew it inward because you know that our shoulder is turned out, okay? Because it's a sleeveless dress. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to flip this inside. Okay, I'll flip this in inward inside the back piece. Okay, this way. Make sure that the two fabric faces each other, while the lining also faces each other, and the shoulder and the armhole parts correspond with this part. Then just take it inside this way and bring it out from the shoulder like so okay so make sure that you hold them to the hold the hold the two together now you hold the two together this way okay so this is the front that we pushed in okay so i haven't done this now i will hold this up with my pin I'll also do the same thing this to this other side. Okay. This is the front. Remember that we have not done this. Okay. So just flip this inward. Make sure that the that the two fabric faces with each other. So bring it out again this way. And make sure that the two is equal. Okay. So I'll go to the machine now and stitch this out. I'll go to my machine now and stitch it up this way with half an inch. I'll stitch it up here again with half inch. Okay, I've carefully stitched up this part. So what I will do now is to flip this out. So as you're pulling those two out, you are also turning this to the right face. Okay, so this is just it. And you have a smooth shoulder line. Okay, so this is it. Okay, remember I say that you pull the front to the to the back to pull them out. This is in a situation whereby the zip will be at the front piece. But if the uh, zip were to be at the back, it simply means that the front will be the one that you will not turn. It will be the one that will be at the wrong face. While the two back will be turned to the right face. Then you pull the two back inward, okay, to pull them out. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and close off this down part. Okay, I will stitch up this down part. So the next thing to do now is to take our measurements. Okay, we have, we have to consider where we want the ruffles to be okay so i want it to be at the chest line okay 
that is um eight and a half inches sorry eight inches because i've taken away the half at the shoulder line so it's eight inches so from the shoulder line now i will make take my measurement to eight inches okay i will measure eight inches from this shoulder line so there now is where i will fix the ruffles around okay so what i will do is to find the midpoint of this ruffle i'll just find the midpoint of the ruffle then i will find the midpoint i will also take my eight inches at the back piece okay then i'll find the midpoint then from that midpoint now i will start to to sew but remember that we added extra an inch when we are cutting the ruffle so because of that i'm going to make a, a loose stitch okay i'll make a loose stitch here at the ruffle then i will just uh, gather it a little bit okay so that when i attach it here to this point then i will consider how i how how many i want to use for the for the sleeve okay so i'll be using like a nine inches for each of the sleeve so i will take away the nine inches then pleat the remaining one at this part okay so if you want it to be easier for you what you have to do is to take your measurements just take this measurements here from those points to those points first of all make sure you're eight inches okay then take your measurement at that eight inches okay then when you measure that eight inches when you measure those points you also come to the front piece measure your eight inches then you take your measurement of course you know that the ruffles will be entering the zip part so it will be uh it will uh, be stopping at this edge so you measure here and measure here then add all of them together then plus what you will be using at the sleeve which is 9 9 18 inches so when you uh, plus all of them you will know how many you'll be gathering this so that it will enter properly okay so i'll be doing that now i will just make a loose stitch here okay then i will take my eight inches here and eight inches here then after that i will take the 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 measurements then i will add some everything together and know what i'm gathering then after that i will start my fixing so i'll start the fixing by taking the midpoint of the back okay then i will fix to this point all right then i will leave eight nine inches from here okay then i will also uh, sew to those points and i'll sew to those points then also leave my nine inches so that it will be round so i'll go to the machine now and do just that after doing that i will go ahead to attach the down part to the main dress okay i will attach the down part to the upper part of the dress i also have here my pockets I've cut out the pockets, okay, two two piece for each side, and I've I, I've also make a stitch stopping like one inch, okay. So I'll be I'll be attaching it this way. So when you look at it, you will see that one side is curvy, okay. So this curvy part will be will be facing up. Okay, upper part of the dress, while the straight part will be facing downward. Okay, so I will fix it like so. So each side. Okay, each side um, at the front and at the back. Okay, so I'll go to the machine now, attach my ruffle, close off the down part of the dress, then attach the, the down part to it. After that, I will use my body measurement, which is only the bust measurement and the waist measurement to shape them out. And I'll come back to show you the finishing part. Okay, so let's see the result of our dress, as you can see. Um, okay, so this is the front part. And this is also the back. Okay, so this is the sleeve. So thank you so much for watching till the end. So we'll meet in my next class. Love you all. Bye.